walking around with no underwear on. It's because you could see my underwear, so I took it off. Vagina. So we went to New Orleans and we thought it was gonna be one video and then we got back to the office and we realized that we had 750 hours of footage. Devin, where are we going this morning? Well, I'll tell you when we get there. The trick hasn't worked so far, so I don't know why it would work now. So on the Tuesday of our New Orleans trip, we went to a vintage clothing store. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So I am so excited today because we are playing the Solange Knowles Challenge. I love Solange. Solange on her Instagram, she like had these awesome fashion photos, but they really kind of focused on also sort of the architecture and like the environment of New Orleans. Amazing look, amazing background, sort of a synergy. Solange Knowles brought a lot of attention to New Orleans for taking beautiful Instagrams around the city. And I thought that we would, could recreate that by pairing up with Century Girl Vintage and going around town taking some pics. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Yes. yes. Love pics. So when Devin told me that we were going to a vintage clothing store, to wear clothes and take photos, I actually was very worried. Vintage clothes are much different than modern clothes. People's bodies were different. There is not a lot of elastic in vintage clothes. If something doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. I definitely thought I'm gonna have to like wear just a hat or like here's an earring. And I didn't want that because like no one ever wants to feel like they don't fit in with their friends. I kept my expectations in the root cellar. So we get to Century Girl, and first of all, it's like Candyland. I walked in and I was like, is this what it was like when Dorothy finally got to the part of the movie that was in color? I am in heaven. I'm envisioning so many different looks. How many looks are we gonna be allowed to do? As many as we can fit in. What? But we have to leave like at one o'clock-ish. I could do it. I'm so uh, excited. I like to say that New Orleans is like a mix between Beyonce and Blanche Chibois. Like we always have a party, we wear our sequins. I guess the biggest word for me that comes to mind is eclectic. You can go out of the house on a Monday and wear pasties if you want. You can go out you know, on a Friday and wear a formal dress. What is really inspiring about the city is that most people take garments and remake them. Today we're gonna be styling the girls for the Solange Knowles Challenge. We're gonna be picking some fabulous pieces and playing dress up, which we never grow out of today. I was looking at all the stuff and I was like, that's a two, that's a four. That doesn't have a size, but it's this wide. Luckily, Leah and her associates at Century Girl had the situation covered, and I really appreciated that. Kristen, I know you like more feminine styles, mm -hmm. vintage style, glamorous, so I've picked a few pieces over here that I think you would love. Okay. We're big on wearing lingerie out and about here in New Orleans, <gasps> so this is a fabulous cape by Lucy Ann. Um, yes. Circa 1960. I love the tent silhouette. <laughs> and then I have this amazing yellow sequin Ooh. wiggle dress. This was the designer that Marilyn Monroe um, was really into. Made for a woman with curves, it's, and it's very sexy. This is the stretchiest thing in the store. <laughs> Clothes really didn't used to have elastic in them, did no, they? No, they didn't. They were body. fitted to your body. This amazing cape. This came from the estate of Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> 20 pounds of metallic tulle. I have to get a photo in this or I will die. There was so much that I could try on that I almost didn't have time to dwell on the things that I couldn't wear. We're gonna be working with Freddie. She's similar to me, has a little bit of an edgier style. The first thing that we pulled, we're really gonna glam her up. This would be gorgeous on her. This I love color. this. And then we're also going to pair it with this head wrap that has a little bit of a birdcage veil to it. The more drama, the better. Yes, this is yeah. so Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras. I love it. <laughs> she was drawn to this very Gucci vibe. This head wrap, which has a wire in the base, along with these fabulous vintage rhinestone crusted glasses. So Freddie wants to steal this. We can throw in a black bralette with some high-waisted shorts or high-waisted jeans, some heels, and go out with a little bit more edge. So Chantel, I know you are like the group's posh spice, so uh -huh. you're drawn to designer and um, beautiful things. I'm drawn more to just beauty and luxury, and then it always happens to be the most expensive thing. Yes. You could wear this with this Valentino little lace top over jeans. Oh. Um, or you could wear them together. They're both the kind of their own looks. Like this is a look that I think you need to let your inner goddess yeah. come out and shine. This is so Fun. Would you wear something like this? Yeah, I would for sure try this on. Bow is on your wrists. Bow's Why on not? Yeah. This reminds me a lot of where I grew up in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I love Tennessee Williams. So I just want to lean in okay. and go super feminine, breezy, mm -hmm. be a Southern Belle. That's great. I have some Southern Belle pieces for you right here. Nothing says Blanche Chivois more like this beautiful floral gown from the 40s with these big poof butterfly sleeves. I just need a couple mojitos. And the gentleman's suit is a come calling. This is 1910s. Here in New Orleans, we're not afraid to wear like 
our grandmother's clothes mixed with something modern. It's just like totally leaning into like the ingenue vibes. Mm -hmm. We've got a feather boa here and of course our flapper dress. If I'm gonna have this haircut and you know, no tits, I might as well just go exactly. full 1920s. <laughs> Do you wanna tell me a little bit about what your style is? Yeah. I think Jen was also a little bit hesitant because it is a very feminine store and obviously like Jen's aesthetic is different than that. My style is a little bit more masculine than I think the other women on my team. I like like button downs, I like t-shirts, I like leather. I don't really do that many super bright colors, although like I am open to it because I love a good floral. And also like I don't know that much about vintage anyway, so I, I like just, I'm gonna defer to you. Really just wanna absorb everything, kinda like a sponge. So we pulled a couple of beautiful pieces here for you. Cool! Um, this is a vintage Dolce & Gabbana. We have another vintage Hermes oversized blouse here. A little bit more of kind of a contemporary silhouette. Well, yeah, I really like that. And then finally, we have a very fun feathered t-shirt. That's very cool. Uh, you can kind of yeah. get a little bit more comfortable in your style. That's great. This is also cool. Literally, they just let us like have the run at the store. I'm gonna just direct with this hat on. Oh my God, it's so heavy. <laughs> Do the gotta... neck is really small. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. We're gonna bring it up. Okay. Having a little trouble breathing. <laughs> no big deal. Wow. Oh my God. Kristen, you're a queen. Oh, yeah. This is incredible. Okay, well, that's one down. <laughs> you're so elegant. Yes, 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 yes. Literally, it was like fashion show. It was like the best thing ever. Like, we're just gonna play dress up and we're gonna take photos. We were there for three or four hours, but I could have been there the whole day and then come back the next day. There's a wire in here. Do you want some of your bangs We're not in there, yes. Joe. This is like very 70s. Yes, Gucci. I love it. Yeah. We think we need a lip though, don't you think? I don't know, I kind of like it. I have like a new lipstick. Oh, why don't we do that? Okay. You want to get in and then I can zip you. Okay. You're pinning these sleeves. Okay. Fall. I just have really tiny shoulders. <laughs> I just like to slip off. Sorry. Oh no. I quite like it. Hey, a little, little pin. It's me. Your boy. It's a little tight, but I like it. Hey, yes. Nice. These are so good. Yes. People were skinny in 1910. You can pin it to the base of the dress. top if you want, yeah. I kind of like just the top. Can we style the top with something? I'm wondering if I should tuck your hair back. All the way in? Yeah. I haven't looked in the mirror yet. Fred, you look so beautiful. Thank You're gonna you. die when you look in the mirror. Literally, when you were in that purple sequin dress, you look like a woman that we're like about to commemorate on a postage stamp. <laughs> like a postage stamp. You look like. I felt like one. I felt like, like an important historic woman. Yes, and a very important historic woman who has done very important things yes. for women. <laughs> I loved it so much. I definitely want my hair. Up in, a in a wrap or, or in like, you know, something to get it away. So I'm wearing this like fabulous vintage dress and I'm about to cross through lanes of traffic to uh, take a pic. You gotta do it for the gram though. If you don't do it for the gram, what are you doing? I picked the worst day to wear black underwear. Womp womp. <laughs> the piece de resistance that I tried on was this incredible pink negligee set. It looked like a red carpet look. It was incredible. Do you think Devin cried? Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, you oh. look like I imagined you looked on your wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 100% going outside in this. Part of me is like, do I have $200? I'm just gonna throw it down for this right now. <laughs> is that gonna be my life? Not to stay the lines. <laughs> I said to Leah, isn't it like a little weird basically taking photos outside and like pretending like this negligee is clothes? And she was like, in New Orleans, it's very hot. So we wear lingerie as clothes all the time. This hat. I know, this right? This hat is so good. There was a wiggle dress that I wore. But look, it's my butt cool. <laughs> there were things there. Like actually clothes were stretchier than I thought they were. Like Jen actually came back the next day and then bought something on her own. She bought one of the shirts that she wore. She liked it that much. I was just gigantic. So I'm back in the negligee again. <laughs> yeah, because you changed out of it, took photos and other outfits, and then put it back on. <laughs> Because if you don't wear it once an hour, you will perish. Look at these ensembles. Ensembles. 
That is a true ensemble. It really is a true ensemble. Yeah. This whole thing? Oh my god. Just a typical Tuesday. Honestly, you look like a Disney villain, and I mean that in the best possible way. I know, way. I like I, I feel like I just need to walk around and be like, like I'm putting a hex on you. That's where I got my beauty from. <laughs> oh hello, lady. Oh. What? They are such beautiful ladies. Pop and a squat. Mike and I just took the most amazing photos together. He's a genius. He somehow made it look like Vanity Fair. Looking at this vlog, it's like, okay, what am I wearing? But then looking at it in a photo, you're like, this is the store of our dreams. I don't want to go. So here are some of the Instagrams we took, uh, some of the many contenders in our Solange Knowles challenge. Which ones are your favorites? What would New Orleans be without some sparkling rosé? Oh Are we oh into it? Yeah. I don't know how to pop one of What a century things. girl. Hang on, wait. <laughs> oh, 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 Thank you all so much for coming to our city oh, and um, being such Thank great Thank you so fashionistas. much for having us. I really got a sense of New Orleans fashion. I love that you said that you reuse, you repurpose, it's really creative. I feel like I generally take risks, but I want to like take it a step further. Right. Like today, we really just like went all out. I definitely want to play with patterns more. All the shirts, they were just so fun. Yeah. And they had a lot of color, which I really liked. I want to play with more hair accessories. I didn't even realize there's this beautiful world of negligee. <laughs> <laughs> that is just waiting for me to jump into. So thank you so much to Century Girl Vintage and Marrow Creative for styling us today. We still have the rest of the day to go, y'all. We're gonna get some lunch, and then I'm gonna take the girls to their next secret experience, which, hint, 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 has to do with fashion as well. All right, gals, so today we learned a little bit about street fashion in New Orleans, and this evening we're gonna learn about Mardi Gras fashion. Oh, Welcome goodness. to the Mardi Gras Museum of Costumes and Culture. First, I'd like to teach you a little bit about the culture of Mardi Gras, the history of Mardi Gras, and then I think we'll take you into the costume closet and let you play and dress up in authentic Mardi Gras king and queen costumes. See what it's like to be in a Mardi Gras parade. And I was like, yes, I am a princess. <laughs> this type of costume is known as a wearable float, a structure you attach to your body and carry with you. You're always looking for maximum spectacle at Mardi Gras. But there's also things that are not like over the top. There was this amazing crew that did all this great beadwork and like used their beadwork to represent different amazing parts of the city. Right now we are featuring the Doms of Perlage, the art of beadwork. Each year they choose a topic of New Orleans culture and then each member will interpret that topic in beadwork form, a work of art, that becomes a bodice. I think here, like we have hobbies, like do you wanna go hiking? Okay, and there it's like, I'm gonna make a beautiful work of art for my body. We are featuring for International Women's Day 2018 Miss Louisiana Universal, Havala Malone. She's an incredibly inspirational woman. She has a collection of over 300 Barbie dolls. This area is career women. Film director Barbie. Film director Film Barbie. 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 Does look like you. Film director Barbie. Okay, hello, thank you. you Hi. <laughs> this is mine now. Fred. I know, you've Fred. you've been that. Oh, that Fred was Barbie. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. So Fred wore that outfit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so that crazy she that she has this actual Barbie. We couldn't find it. So this is the Treme Sidewalk Steppers Social Aid and Pleasure Club. They kick off our Super Bowl Sunday. No way! Yeah. These costumes cost about 12000 a piece. That's like a reasonably priced car. Helen is so great and so knowledgeable, and I think it's amazing that there is so much care and attention paid towards preserving the history of this city by the people who live in it. Let's go have fun in the costume. Yeah, let's do Enough it. history, ladies. Right. New Orleans is about fun, isn't it? I was jazzed. I was, like, I was like, give me glitter, give me crowns, give me velvet, give me all of it. I will wear all of it, and I did. We have all of this stuff here. This is all from our private collection. These are all things that have been worn in Mardi Gras before. The big back pieces behind you, the Medici collars, that is what royalty would be wearing normally. So these are actually stilt walker costumes that we made for a parade. If you can imagine a stilt walker wearing these, these huge flamingos. I want us to pick out our Mardi Gras costume and we're gonna do kind of like a catwalk soul train up and down <laughs> in the hallway. Be our own little Mardi Gras parade right now. There's robes, there's crowns, there's like crowns on crowns. Literally there were some crowns that were like also this is someone's summer home on top of the crown. <laughs> How do I put this on? 
Like this? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. Love this. Look at your fruit hat. And fun hats all day. Oh, oh, oh Jen. Okay. See how you can I see out there? Yeah. Smoochie, smoochie. <laughs> Who wants to kiss? <laughs> smells kind of so, bad in here, though. Yes. This is a different kind of skill, trying to put this dress on. Someone zip me. Look at this green on you. This is my look. I feel very tropical. Wizard of Oz. But yeah, <laughs> very drawn to the fruit. Kristen! Holy crap. Whoa. I'm queen bitch of <laughs> mountain. Oh. <laughs> and you're peacocking right now, pretty hard. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, wait, oh, I, I just apologize for hitting myself. <laughs> Turning around is hard now. Should we slowly walk and do our soul, soul train? So both New Orleans Street Fashion and Mardi Gras Fashion have a similar theme in common, which is that we go big or we go home. There is a sense that like, going big is beautiful and it doesn't matter what that looks like so much as you just shout it from the rooftops. The great thing about New Orleans fashion in general that you can see both from the Mardi Gras fashion and from the street fashion is that you don't have to shout what you like. You shout it with your body and your clothes. So Helen, Chandra, thank you so much for showing us around <laughs> the Mardi Gras Museum. I really feel like I'm ready to have a good time tonight. Like yes. this is mm -hmm. so, so fun. <laughs> fun. It was such a pleasure for us to have you. Ladies, let's take over, what do you say? Yeah! yeah. It's about time.